Hi, my name is Rosie Dickens and I'm a Senior Managing Editor at Usborne. I've worked at Usborne for over 20 years, doing all kinds of books on all sorts of topics, from maths to art to science. One of my latest projects was the Usborne Book of the Microscope. Growing up, I was fascinated by my older sister's microscope and the secret world it revealed. So I was thrilled to oversee this title, working with a very talented team. Author Alice James is a biology graduate, and our expert consultant, Joseph Shuttleworth, works for the Federation of European Microbiological Societies. This book peers through the microscope to uncover a hidden world of teeny tiny things. Inside, you can meet bizarre bugs, peculiar plants and life-saving molds, marvel at beautiful crystals and mini fossils, and discover hidden details of ordinary, everyday objects. This is all brought to life by lively illustrations and carefully chosen photos. The illustrations were created for us by nature illustrator Jean-Claude, who has a real eye for details and can make cute characters out of almost anything, even fungi and bacteria. The photos are real microscopic images, each labelled to show just how zoomed in it is, whether that's sugar crystals, pictured 30 times larger than life, or a virus, shown an amazing 450,000 times life size, captured by a super powerful electron microscope. Each magnification had to be checked and calculated individually, which took a couple of days. A big feature of the book are the hands-on activities, which are designed to be both satisfying and easy to do, using either a home microscope or a magnifying glass. For example, you can discover what dust is really made of, watch bubbles dance and plants drink, spot tiny creatures in mosses and pond water, or grow your own mould. There are lots of practical tips for getting good results based on our own testing. We bought our own equipment, deliberately nothing fancy, and tested each activity several times to make sure the results were really achievable. So for a while, my work bag was packed with pots of lovely green slime and pond water. I hope you enjoy the results as much as we did.